SEO tools that I use. In this video session, I'm going to show you a couple of different search engine optimization tools that you may like to consider using. Now, there are many different SEO tools on the market. Most of them are confusing. But there is one called Screaming Frog SEO Spider. You can place your own URL or even your competitors to see what's going on. And this particular tool doesn't overwhelm you like some others. And it shows you what is important. That means you don't have to spend thousands of dollars getting some SEO analysis tools and waste your time, money, energy analyzing things that are not important. And this particular tool, last time I checked, it was 500 requests for free. That means it's great for small business community. Another one is called Majestic. There are many free backlink analyzers and there are some different ones. But I find this useful because you don't have to go and analyze your competitors' backlinks to a degree that if they have 10,000 backlinks, you don't have to go and look at every single one of them. Instead, you can kind of see overall quickly by using Majestic. It does have limitations as far as um, what you are subscribed to. Whether it's monthly, certain limits and so on, but you can kind of glimpse at the backlinking opportunities for you to consider as well as kind of get an idea as to why um, Google is ranking you know, competitors' website over yours, considering you analyze the website itself for your competitor. Yeah, Search Console. It's Google Search Console. There are many different menu options here. I do have the, the course that shows you every single option for you to explore and understand. Now, crawl errors, this is what happens. You know, I get many emails and comments on YouTube saying, oh, you know what? I've got many 4i4 not found issues. Can you do a 3i1 redirection? Sometimes when you look at this, crawl errors, you may say to yourself, okay, that URL that you're having, if Google can't see it, first thing that you need to do is look at your sitemaps. Sample WordPress site. In the sitemap, if that URL is in the sitemap, then you need to ask yourself, well, why is Google not seeing that? But if that URL is not in the sitemap, then that's okay to have 4i4 and you can ignore it. Now, most small business owners make a mistake by using 3i1 redirection, redirecting page not found, crawl errors to their homepage and so on. Don't do that. Unless you have a similar content, you don't have to do 3i1 redirection. You can just leave it as 4i4 telling Google, you know what, Google? That content is no longer on my site. It's not in the sitemap, so you don't have to keep requesting it all the time that you visit my site and let it be the case. And, you know, let Google calculate things accordingly, okay? Now, I've taken this sample mob example. Site operator search is absolutely important, meaning as far as SEO tools is concerned, search box, is your friend it will show you great insights you can conduct site operator search on your competitor site and take a look at this number here and then go to the last page and ask yourself well okay three and a half thousand urls does my competitor have that many urls you can download their site check things out like so but you want to see how google is seeing them and only an seo person will do this as in go to the last page right here we've got 43 results coming from that domain 47 49 aha uh -huh. now you can see this number compared to the first one and ask yourself and analyze 
as to why is Google omitting rest of the results whereby the first page showed you three and a half thousand in this example now it's only willing to show this many and you want to find out why that is it's uh, more than likely that there are tags and all that stuff and the URLs do not have original content for Google to show them to its searchers another tool is Wayback Machine simply throw in your competitors URL and see how long they've been on internet and analyze how often they update their website because internet evolves and if your competitor is making changes accordingly then you know where you stand and how much effort you need to make to outperform them in search while here let me show you how you can disallow that for your own website you can include this directive in robots.txt file then Wayback Machine let's see what it has on my website let's browse the history for this make sense so I block Wayback Machine because I don't want anyone to see as in I don't want my competitors to see how often I'm updating my website and you can do that by using this directive in robots.txt file to wrap it up as far as SEO tools are concerned screaming frog SEO spider Google search box exploring Google search box wayback machine and backlink analyzers there are some free ones and there are some paid ones majestic does a good job it gives you what is important as far as the data that is important and above all else search console this has to be used if you want to maintain your website optimization i thank you very much for learning with me if you benefited from this video session please do give it a like and share it and i'll talk with you in the next video session